And we really want to welcome a new show sponsor, Scott uh, Vinson from Coldwell, uh, Coldwell Banking Royalty Realty. We are really very, very excited to have Scott join our show. As a sponsor, Scott is a San Diego County gun owner, board member, and has supported our efforts in defend and restore the Second Amendment from the start. So if you're moving, let or if you're moving, let fellow Second Amendment supporter and real estate broker Scott help you sell your home and find you a new home anywhere in the United States. Give Scott give Scott Vincent a call at 619-948-2459. Tell him you heard it right here on Gun Owners Radio. That's Scott Vincent at 619-948-2459. Scott's the best, and I, I saw he went uh, bird hunting over Did the he? weekend, too. Did yeah. he get a bird? Oh, you got a, I think you got a lot of birds. Mm. You got a lot of birds. Is there going to be a bird barbecue coming up? Or a- <laughs> <laughs> arr, arr, arr. Yeah, he uh, just once a year he hosts a barbecue for San Diego County gun owners in yeah. his backyard. Yeah. And uh, he goes back birds? to Alabama. No, he goes back to ba- Alabama and he har- harvests the deer and then he serves it up to everybody down wow. in uh, South County. It's delicious. Tasty. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah. he's a good cook. He's a good hunter. All right, what else we got going on? Well, we got Mike and Brett. From Christensen Combatives. We're going to talk to them a little bit later, but they're in the studio. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. Thanks for having us. For having us. You bet. And, of course, we have Melissa. Yep. going to give us our Hi. What are you, what are you reviewing this? this I'm, I'm reviewing their NVG class, their well, night vision sounds, class. That sounds awesome. You took it? I did. I took it. That's nice. And, of course, Joe's in the studio. What's up, man? Of course I'm here. <laughs> and, then of course, I'm here. So, uh, so we're golden. We're golden. Everybody's here. It's like the you know the Mickey Mouse Club uh, you know roll call there. Um, so listen, everybody, we have to talk about this again. We have to talk about it multiple times. Vote yes on the recall. If you're just sitting back right now and not doing anything, or if you're posting memes on Facebook and thinking, okay, well this is helping, uh, it's not. We have to get people out. We have to get them active. Um, There are a lot of organizations that are doing a lot of things that are doing direct support for this recall. This recall is crucial. If you're spending time arguing with somebody over who to vote for out of the 42 people or whatever, rather than just getting more people to show up and vote yes on the recall, you're actually doing damage. You're not helping the situation. We need people to uh, recall, I'm sorry, uh, 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 (laughs) California, uh, Carl DeMaio's group. Um, Reform California? Reform California is doing a fantastic... Boy, well, long weekend already. Reform California is doing a lot to help, and we're, we're sending people their way. Uh, what they're doing is they're actually getting a hold of people that maybe aren't going to show up and vote or don't even know there's an election, and they're giving them information and helping them show up and vote. That is actually changing... The calculus. That's actually moving the ball forward. And there's lots of volunteer opportunities to do that. Nina's uh, making phone calls every night uh, for an hour for that organization. And, um, you know, the recall is kind of close, I think. The uh, the evil bad side is really nervous because they're bringing out um, all the big guns. Pelosi and Biden and those people are all coming out here to... Uh, to contribute on how their side. How can you which, say big guns? Well, you know, no, I'm thinking that, that should be helpful for the recall. Effort, I know, but actually. how could you say big guns and mention that's, their names? That's what they got. Yeah, that's <laughs> so, it. Honestly, that's it, a little it's, gun. It's, it's, I don't, it's, it doesn't appear to be as close. I, if the election happened tomorrow, we'd lose. Yeah, well, it's hard to say, though, because you, you well, get yeah, different stuff. Well, yeah, but you can't say that until everybody yeah. votes. You can't say that until well, no, everybody votes. Well, no, you can't even look at those polls because they're, no. they're different. But, but the point is people can't get – complacent you can't relax we are no we are not anywhere near as close to even a possible victory for people to uh think hey this is this but is do we go. really know that yes i think there's more people don't think that i think they're willing to <laughs> i think no i think these people i think every single person i've talked to cannot wait because to, 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 to post their ballot because we live in a bubble no, I think it's closer than you think it is, I, but I, that that still means though what you're saying is absolutely right. Oh no, no, you, no, you got to do so, you got you so can't listen, be complacent. If, if go to the San Diego Democratic Party uh, Facebook page, just start right there. It's the simplest thing in the, in the world. Go to their Facebook page. Look at all the efforts they are making at no on the recall. Mm-hmm. They're extremely organized and very motivated. Mm-hmm. The polls are showing that yeah, it's a, it's a statistical dead heat, but. A statistical dead heat in this situation means that the governor is about three or four percentage points ahead. But I heard there was the independence is about twenty three percent 
that they have not voted as yet. Well, and, and well, the other thing is uh, Democrats are coming in stronger. Uh, they're getting their uh, their uh, ballots in earlier, mm-hmm. which doesn't really mean anything because no. that always happens. Democrats yeah. always turn ballots, their ballots from in. everywhere. Yeah, they they always turn their <laughs> ballots in early. We we wait till the Republicans' right side of this political spectrum tends to wait till the day of. So that doesn't really mean anything. Okay, but the actual like you know polling, I've seen uh, uh, polling surveys. You know, and not like, you know, sponsored by the Democratic Party. I'm talking about, you know, really true, like, hey, we're doing our best to do a scientific poll on Mm -hmm. on likely voters. It's not, this isn't, it's not good. It's not like, hey, woohoo, we're going to win this thing. It's, oh, I would not. Say, I would not say that either. But so let me, because I know you hate it when I bring up conspiracy theories because your <laughs> hair curls. But have you heard anything at all about the integrity of this vote? Yeah, I, you know, there's a lot of groups that are that are fighting for the integrity of of the of the uh, elections and everything. But here's the, the only reason I don't like. Now, look, I have my my views on that. But the reason I don't like to talk about that is it gives lazy people an excuse to stay. Well, home. that's why I brought it up because if 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 you were to tell me, no, Dave, unfortunately, there's nobody looking, there's no going to be overseeing it, then then. There's going to be 10% will say, well, then why bother? There's a lot of groups that are out there doing everything they can. If somebody out there listening, if you're worried about the integrity of the election, then you need to get involved in organizations that are fighting for the integrity of the election. Right. Um, if you, if you, even if you think, hey, you know what? My vote's not going to matter. Okay, well, vote anyway. You, you know what I mean? Like, then, then yeah, why would you not matter. Send, Yeah, send your vote in then. <laughs> because they're going to take the in. 300 votes they found on that guy's car and they're going to submit them. If you're a so voter, yours is important. Or if you know somebody who's a voter and they're going, hey, I'm not going to vote because my vote doesn't matter. Well, just vote anyway then. Yeah. Like, you know, just be eh, humorous. Yeah. You know, send yeah. your vote in. But this 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 election, I you know, I, I think that this election is not going to be ruined by a, a voter integrity problem. I think that this vote, this uh, election is going to be ruined, and we're going to lose this thing because there are too many people out there that are complacent, and too many people out there that are fighting over, you know, person A versus person B, rather than getting their neighbor who doesn't even know there's an election going on to show up and vote yes on the recall. Okay, so if and we actually, win, are you going to apologize for saying I'm in a bello? I'm, I'm going to. I'll buy you a coke. Okay. How about that. <laughs> Joe, and, just, and not a diet coke either. I'll buy the full fledged. Oh, you got to borrow money from the. We'll wife. get the one from Mexico where they use the real sugar. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. But I, I got to tell you, seriously, I'm I'm very very worried. I watch the polling. I talk to people. Um, there are people that uh, uh, that oversee the the count at the uh, register of voters, which is where they count all the votes and where they send the ballots out and everything. And they're saying that uh, ballots are coming in and people are voting for a candidate and they're not voting yes on the recall I, we're gonna screw this up we're gonna screw this really? up and we have what two weeks to make it right so what i'm saying is whatever you're doing uh look up reform california get involved help us out find 10 people make them show up to the polls this is so close to victory and we're gonna pull defeat out of the jaws of victory out of uh you know uh just being lazy yeah because California will just go down deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper if we don't turn the tide. It's going to be a problem. If he wins, uh, if he doesn't get recalled, it's going to be an enormous problem. I hope you like masks and lockdowns because if he wins, that's what we're going to see again. And he'll punish every single one of us. Yeah, You know he will. All right. Thanks for watching this clip from Gun Owners Radio. You can watch us live every Sunday from 4 to 6 p.m. California time right here on our YouTube channel. Or if you're in the San Diego area, you can listen to us on 1170 a.m. We're also available on your favorite podcast platform for free. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can help restore and protect the Second Amendment, not just in California, but across the country.